Hi, this is Ray at My Service Depot. In this clip, we're going to take a look at a new feature in Smart Service that allows us to send emails automatically after we post jobs as completed. We're going to use the Setup menu first to configure Smart Service to send these emails automatically. From the Home tab, we're going to use the Setup option, and we will use the Setup Smart Service Add-ons button towards the bottom of your Company tab. In this area, we'll go to the Email tab and select Send Email after posting job is complete. Next, we'll need to collect some information about your email account. Your administrator, IT, or email account provider support documentation can supply you with this information. What we'll need to find is the name of your outgoing mail server, or the SMTP server, the port number that you will use, as well as the type of encrypted connection. Your options here are TLS or none if there's no encryption. For the username, you'll supply the full email address you're going to use to send these messages. You'll also need to supply the password. You see here that the password for the account is masked. Next, we'll need to add your email templates. As you can see here, Smart Service uses your job type to determine which email template should be used. You can create a tailored message based on the type of service that your technicians have performed. Under the job type heading, using the drop down, we're going to select our desired job type. Then we'll choose the edit option. In the from field, we will want to repeat the email address from which these messages are being sent. In the subject line, we'll want to provide the subject that we will use for each message that we send. In the body of your message, you can either copy in from a Word document or you can compose your text here. I've used my keyboard shortcut, Control V as in Victor, to paste from a notepad. Next, we'll want to insert information from our individual jobs. Using the right-click menu, you can choose from the field codes. These field codes include your job user-defined fields, 1 through 12, as well as relevant information from each job. If you need to add a blank line, you can use the control key on your keyboard and enter to insert that blank line into your message. We are also able to add a signature image. If you're going to use that image, you'll want to use this Insert Image option at the bottom. Browse to the image that you'd like to use, this logo for example, and choose Open. In your message, if we hit Control Enter to add a blank space, I can right click and that would be the email logo that I'm inserting. So let's just insert a couple of field codes here throughout the message. And I'm going to put in the job type here by right clicking and using job type. I'll add my scheduled date. I'll also add the service address where we performed this particular work. And let's also reference the invoice number. I'm uh, having Smart Service automatically generate my invoice numbers. Now before we leave, uh, we can test our settings. If you use this send test email option down at the bottom of the screen, first and foremost, that'll let us know that we've configured this correctly. And then we can also check our text. I can save this message. I can also return to my other templates and edit these at any time. For example, if I wanted to update my install message, my residential or service message, you can return to your setup menu in the company tab, choose Setup Smart Service Add-ons, access this email tab, and you can edit your template at any time. To send our messages, we'll need to go to the Office tab here in Smart Service, and we'll use the option here to enter work orders that have been completed. 
At the top of the screen, we'll select the employee and the date range that we're interested in completing these jobs for. And if I would like to invoice to QuickBooks, I'll leave the post jobs to QuickBooks option selected. Um, you'll notice I'm also sending some job times, but our new feature depends on this option to send the email after posting. So you'll notice that we configured a message for cleaning services. For each of the jobs in this list that have a job type of cleaning, we would send the message that we just created that template that we built. Over to the right hand side of the screen, as long as that send email after posting option is selected, when we click on post next to any cleaning task, that's going to send our tips and tricks. Read our blog at www.smartservice.com or follow us on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter.